Hello, my name is Steve Pereira. I'm a reader in hepatology and gastroenterology at University College London and a clinical gastroenterologist working at both the Royal Free Hospital and at University College Hospital in London. So I have a particular interest in the management of people with pancreatic disease. In particular, patients with pancreatic cancer. There's about 8,000 new patients each year diagnosed with the condition. And there's really been no improvement in outcome of those patients over the last 40 years. One of the things that has been improving, though, is our ability to see small lesions in the pancreas. And we do that by a variety of techniques, uh, including non-invasive imaging by CT and MR, and also by endoscopic ultrasound, which is a combination of an endoscope, as you can see here, and with an ultrasound built into the tip. And that allows us to see very small lesions in the, in the pancreas. The aim of this project is really to combine EUS with non-invasive imaging to allow real-time tracking of small lesions in the pancreas, combining non-invasive scans with endoscopic technologies, giving us the ability to localise small lesions and also to monitor treatment. I'll now hand over to my colleague in biomedical engineering, Dean Barrett. My name's Dean Barrett. I'm uh, a reader in medical image computing within the UCL Centre for Medical Image Computing. And I'm also the uh, theme leader for the interventional systems um, theme of the CDT. Engineering solution, or the computing solution, if you like, that uh, we're proposing in this project is uh, firstly to um, develop a method to combine different types of images together and um, in particular in this case the images of interest are MRI uh, images of the uh, pancreas and the biliary um, system um, and ultrasound images that are obtained during a uh, interventional catheter based um, procedure and um, we want to uh, essentially have software to try and match those together as accurately as, uh, as we can. Um, in order to do that, we also need uh, tracking technology. So these are miniature tracking se sensors that are attached to uh, the surgical instruments that are used in this kind of procedure. Uh, and that gives us some idea where the ultrasound transducer is and also uh, where uh, the instruments attached to the, um, uh, to the catheter are. So, um, once we've got all of those in place, we can start to build a system. So second sort of major objective of um, the project is to really put together a prototype system, uh, both from design to uh, through to an early kind of uh, proof of principle. Um, uh, and we're talking here about a, a sort of physical computer assisted um, system. So UCL is an excellent place to do this kind of project. We have uh, world-class uh, experimental facilities and uh, we're supported by um, extremely good clinical uh, research and clinical collaborators, uh, people like Steve who've got an international reputation.